Yo, what's up guys, Random Comic here. I got some more Black Ops for you guys, and this is a game of Domination on Summit. Summit's actually one of my favorite maps, so I really wanted to get a gameplay up of this map. I don't know why, but I always seem to do really well in it, and I really actually like playing it a lot every time I see Summit. One of the great things about Black Ops, actually it's a great thing, and it's not the same time, is that when you play a map, you have the decision and the ability to actually vote for the same map to play again. And I've had situations where I played uh, Nuke Town probably f <laughs> five, six times straight. I played Firing Range like five times the other night in uh, Headquarters, which was really fun, but at the same time, I hated having to play the same map. It's a pretty cool addition, but at the same time, it's also a very uh, annoying thing because some players just won't want to change the map. And <laughs> Look at that guy in second chance. Uh, it's really funny because nobody really wants to play Summit that much. I find that people are like, oh no, Summit. I think that's because people have the impression that this map isn't very uh, well balanced. For some reason, I feel that if you... Sp there's always a... Uh, every map always has that one spawn that's a bad spawn. If you spawn on the Charlie side, you're pretty much guaranteed to win because you can take control of the secondary inside of the computer room. And... The guys that spawn at Alpha pretty much are dead in the water and they have to keep on running up th either through the main hallway or they gotta flank up through the stairs. And holding this, the second floor in this building is crucial to actually winning the domination game, which I always try to do. That's pretty much any map for that matter. Uh, I think like another map that you really need to control rooftops, not rooftops, but se second, second floors is Havana. If you play uh, domination on Havana, Bravo flag is in the middle of like two cars parked and it's pretty uh, chaotic if you're in actually very frustrating to actually try to take Bravo when you know there's a lot of guys camping second stories and stuff but the only way to counter that is actually have to move tactically around the map and control control your team and tell them hey man we got to start taking control of certain areas because this game is actually pretty fun in that way because I feel half the time I'm telling my team, like, oh my god, that guy's still on the second story. If we don't take him out, we're not going to be able to take these bases. Which is pretty awesome, because it's actually, like, it makes you have to control the, the movement of the game and everything. But at the same time, it's really irritating. Uh, and I believe I keep, I end up switching my guns around a little bit in this game. I'm going to be switching around to, like, a, a FAMAS, and I, I'll, I'll switch around to a, a Enfield later in the game. And... The first gun I was using was the AK-74U, and I really like that gun, but sometimes it just doesn't cut it. And right here, I, I switched to the, I believe this is the Commando. This is actually one of my favorite guns, you guys saw it in my last video, but I think I get killed once trying to use it. And I don't know if anybody out there is like, I always switch my class, like, oh, that didn't work for me, let me switch to another gun. And here I switched to an Enfield with a crazy looking dot on it. I'm experimenting with all the dots, because I feel like... To me, at least, like Modern Warfare 2, I felt like the uh, holographic sight had an advantage over the red dot. And that's because the dot was actually larger, and I felt like the aim assist actually helped out a lot more. And the aim assist in Call of Duty, and in any game for that matter, really helps. And <laughs> it's really hard. Actually, try playing without the auto aim on and see how bad you actually do. It's pretty hard to actually get on target. And it's very sloppy. The aim assist really makes it so that you're not a very sloppy shooter. And this is also, uh, there's one thing I wanted to talk about. I was using a uh, hacker earlier, and this doesn't really have to do much with hacker, but the hacker pro, it makes you uh, able to booby trap care packages. And where I'm, at, I'm getting at this is, I have, I've been relying on theater mode for most of the time to actually record my games and being able to play them back. I actually lost a really funny clip for you guys where... I booby trapped the care package and what happens is when you see a care package it'll give you the option of taking it and when you actually take the care package you're not only stealing it but at the same time you're hacking it and what that's doing is you're booby trapping it so whoever takes that care package will actually blow up so I already took the care package and I have the kill streak but at the same time I'm stealing that so that once he actually tries to use it it's actually gonna blow up it's like a explosive device now and I was playing like Launch or Radiation, one of those maps where there's a shitload of noise going on. And it was actually really funny because like later in the game out of nowhere I got a double kill and like the kill feed actually showed like a care package. 
which I thought was pretty hilarious and I was like oh great now I got this awesome funny ass clip for you guys but it ended up just uh, turning into me being really frustrated I went to everybody on my friend list and I even checked my my recent players menu where it shows all the people you played with recently and it wasn't even in there so maybe I should stop relying on theater mode maybe I should start recording every one of my games with the HD PVR but this game has me spoiled right now I think that the theater mode is the best thing that they've actually added, well, for me at least, because I'm a YouTube commentator and I like to, I post videos on YouTube, so, it, it's helped me out so much and it's made it a lot easier, but at the same time, when you lose that really funny clip, or, I right know I'm going to lose a really good game down the road to theater mode, and maybe I should stop doing that, but I haven't really talked much about the gameplay, sorry about that, but I just want to talk about that, just, there's a funny mode right there, I actually, I run out of ammo and i like, alright, I got a savage and get this guy's gun. And this, I gotta say on Summit, anytime that I play Summit, I don't know why, but I always get, if I try to use a FAMAS, it doesn't work. FAMAS usually does work, it's a really good gun, but I don't know. And let me mention my, I totally forgot what I, I've already covered in this game, but let me just go over uh, my perk setup and my kill streaks. I had Spy Plane, uh, Napalm, and Attack Helicopter, and I also have on... For my perks were Ghost Pro, Sleight of Hand Pro, and I'll, I switched between classes that have Marathon and my other class had Hacker Pro on. And right now, I gotta recommend, like, since I heard that they said, I have a really good headset. I spent, like, over $100 on my headset. So, I can sound horror really easily in Call of Duty, but this is the first Call of Duty that the footsteps, I mean, World at War was pretty bad. But in this game, it's even, it's so hard to actually sound horror that it, you really have to concentrate and there's always so much movement and there's so much shooting and very random ambient uh, noises going on that it's really hard to actually concentrate and actually <laughs> hear footsteps. But I heard that they're actually fixing that and they're making it so, either it's, they're making footsteps louder in general or they're actually making it so that Ninja Pro is a stronger perk. Because even with Ninja Pro, the Ninja Pro makes you, you're, it says completely silent, but you're not completely silent. You still make noise on pretty much any surface, but it, you can really hear it on snow surfaces and like uh, beach and surfaces and all that. But hopefully they make it so that th my headset actually is worth spending, because I don't know about anybody else that has spent a lot of money on you know, I put a lot of money into actually doing well and being able to get good games and getting a headset was probably the, the best thing that I've ever done. The reason is because not only is it your visuals really important to be playing on an HD TV, but your your uh, your audio actually has to be very good. If you're not playing with like surround sound or you're just listening it straight out of your TV, it's going to be really, there's actually a really cool looking uh, dolphin dive. I didn't even know I did that, but that just reminds, that just looks so awesome. I, I think it was so cool. I just did it again for no apparent reason, but I don't know. Hopefully, sound horning was so important to me, and not in just doing well, but it was important to me because it made me be able to control my engagements and control who I actually kill, and it made it so obvious. Like in Modern Warfare 2, in like Call of Duty 4, any time that I spawned I immediately heard footsteps and I was like okay I can immediately hear a guy spawning there it was very good at actually I don't know if that means that the sound of this game isn't as good but it makes me feel that for some reason or another this game maybe it's bugged maybe they didn't mean to do that because I heard that he said that they made a mistake like I don't know if anybody's noticed but if you play search and destroy the bombs actually, when you plant a bomb, usually you would make a very loud noise opening up a briefcase and all that. It's actually completely silent. So you can take an entire, uh, you can uh, play search and destroy and when, usually like that's how people defuse, like a ninja defuse is when they take it completely silent. And that's pretty tough to do when you actually can't hear that briefcase being popped open and stuff. But, so I kind of feel like I went on too much for this video, sorry about that guys, but... I went uh, 43 and 7. It's a pretty good game. Uh, I'm going to try to get a lot more Black Ops to you guys very soon. Uh, stay tuned for more. But other than that, guys, I'll see you guys later. Peace.